Okay, so we're going to do upper and lower bounds now. So uh, I'm just going to give you some numbers. Okay, so we're going to find the lower bound and upper bound of these numbers. Okay, so the lower bound, and I'm going to denote it like this, the lower bound, upper bound of 1, it's 0 0.5, upper bound is 1.5. Okay, lower bound of 2 is 1.5, upper bound is 2.5. Lower bound of 42 is um, 41.5, upper bound is 42.5. 35 is 34.5 and 35.5 is the upper bound. Okay, so what am I doing in each case? I'm actually going a 0.5 lower and we're a 0.5 um, higher. Okay, so let's let's um, do some practice questions. Let's say now we've got a rectangle like this, two meters, four meters. Now, a question is, what is the minimum perimeter and maximum perimeter? So first of all, what is a perimeter? A perimeter is essentially the total length um, around this shape. So we've got 2 meters, 2 meters, 4 meters. So what is that in total? 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 4, 8, plus 4 is 12. So the total perimeter is going to be 12 meters. However, it wants us to find the minimum. So how do we do that? Well, the minimum perimeter, we have to first of all work out the lower bounds of 2 meters and 4 meters. So that's going to be 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 3.5 plus 3.5. So that's equal to 3 plus 7, which is 10 meters. Okay. Now what about the maximum? Okay, maximum perimeter, we do 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 4.5 plus 4.5, that's 5 plus 9, that's 15 meters, okay? Sorry, that's 14 meters. Okay, so that's how we would work out the minimum perimeter and maximum perimeter. What about... Um, area now, okay? If I ask you to find the minimum area of this rectangle and the maximum area, the same thing, um, except, so minimum area would be, we're going to now just use the lower bounds, that's the lower bound of this is 1.5, the upper bound of this is 4, so, sorry, um, lower bound Lower bound of 4 is 3.5, so we do this, and it is, this gives us 5.25 meters squared, okay, maximum area is equal to 2.5 times 4.5, and that's equal to 11.25. 2.5 meters squared. Okay, so that's how we find the minimum area and the maximum area using the lower and upper bounds. Okay, give you a question using a circle now, just to get you to practice using the pi r squared equation. So let's say this is two meters, circle of radius two meters, find the minimum and maximum area. So first of all, we do pi times 1.5 squared, okay, to give us the area, and that is 7.1 meters squared. Maximum area is equal to pi times 2.5 squared, and that gives us 19. 0.6 meters squared. Okay, so that's just some questions getting you to practice uh, using lower and upper bounds.